Hello, my name is Evie, and today I will be showing you how to draw a dolphin. So, dolphins can be hard and easy to draw. One thing you're going to need is a blue pencil. Another thing you might want to have is a green pencil. And then you might want to have yellow. It's not really yellow, but anyway. So all of the pencils I have here are sharpened yet, so I might have to get up in the middle of the video to sharpen some. But anyway, we're going to start by drawing the dolphin. So you're going to start by drawing kind of like a, kind of like a triangle shape, basically. So this is how you start. Then you're going to draw the beak, and we'll add the mouth later. You're going to draw this. Now this circle is where the flippers are going to go for your dolphin. Now this top part where it's kind of bumpy is where is kind of near where your dorsal fin should go. That's the top fin of a dolphin. All dolphins have that. Gonna so then, then you're gonna draw the flipper. Comes down like that. Dolphins usually have kind of a little thing like that. Now we're going to draw the the flukes. Flukes can be hard to draw. So you're gonna go like that. This is a side view of a dolphin fluke. You're gonna go like that. Now we're going to draw the shape of the body. So the species that I mean, I want to make this be spinner dolphin. See how it's changing. The reason why we made the square at first is because uh, we, we needed to find where we're going to put the dolphin. That's why we make the squares. So you're going to attach this to that. So this is the whole body shape. I'm going to draw the eye. Well, maybe not yet. I don't want to erase some things. Now, your drawing is not going to be... Now, if you're a first time for drawing dolphins, it might not be exactly how you want it to be. I've had many times practicing my drawing myself where it didn't go how I wanted it to go, and then I started just not caring about it being absolutely perfect. That's what you should do. Make sure it's not, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like absolutely perfect, because absolutely perfect might not be really the most, the best choice for you. I don't know why, but Almost done with the basics. Okay, we're gonna erase this circle we drew earlier. Now, when you draw, there might be little creases where the lines used to be. Of course, there's a lot more to this video. And the coloring and shading and everything. So I'm gonna learn that too. So now we've got the body. Now you're gonna draw the mouth. Dolphins usually are have a smiling shaped mouth. Most dolphins have that. 
So when when you're when you're drawing a dolphin's eye, one tip is you you want to draw the You want to draw the eye just above the mouth. It's a little too big. I've seen pictures of dolphin eyes and tails before. My love for dolphins came from the movie Dolphin Tale. It's pretty popular about winter, the dolphin. But anyway, so we got the eye. Now we're going to draw the pupil area. Now dolphins don't have an outer side of like coloring on color on the eye like people do. They usually don't, but mine's gonna have that. Yours yours doesn't have to. It's just a little idea. Now I think I drew this part too low. And if you don't have the exact same color pencils I'm using here. Don't freak out about it because it sounds not quite perfect. Couldn't make it so anyway, if if you don't have the same pencils, don't freak out because you can use whatever color you want. Now. One thing to remember is there might be some other animals on your picture, like who knows what. Sorry. The computer's acting a little wonky. <laughs> but, yeah. So now that we've drawn the dolphin basics, we're going to draw the coloring. Spinner dolphins have many different shades, so they have a darker area up here. If it looks like it's frowning, we can change that. Like right here, it looks like this is the eyebrow, <laughs> but it's not. Dolphins don't really have an eyebrow anyway. One thing I forgot to do mention is the eye has little like creases almost around it. So these may look like it has an expression, but dolphins usually are happy. Um, so that's that. Now we're gonna draw This. So, this is our dolphin. I might want to, I think I'm going to erase the eye because it's a little large. So we're going to draw it a little higher up for the eye. Right up there. And draw the creases again. Now, again, you don't have to adjust your dolphin the, this eye the way I did. I just thought how mine looked before was a little wonky, but you don't need to adjust the eye. So, I can redraw that. Now we're going to start the colors. You're going to want a dark blue up here. Now this is more of a violet blue that I'm using. After we put the coloring shades, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of gray over everything. Now sometimes when people are drawing, they'll use something called graphite powder. They usually do that in drawing videos. I don't use that because I, I, I prefer pencils and watercolor. This is a pencil picture. I don't have watercolor people. Pa people paper right now. 
So. I'm almost done with the top layer. It's pretty. Now, sometime, I will post up a um, video on how to draw river dolphins, but for now, this is what's available. So, you're going to want a little bit of a lighter blue for this, for the slightly lighter area on the dolphin. You could not press as hard, that's one way to make it look actual, like, there's coloring, but you don't need to. In the, in the wild, spinner dolphins have um, usually more of a gray coloring, but I don't have a lot of shades of, different shades of gray available right now, so I decided to use blue, because that's what dolphins usually are drawn with. Now, you can see, if you look really closely, you might not be able to, ah, sorry, my computer is really crazy. You might not be able to see that here. You, could, you can kind of see, like, the creases where they um, might appear kind of at the beak where there was a line. But that is no problem at all for me, because what matters is that I'm doing my best, and I hope you're trying to do your best, too, with this work. So, ne so the next one that we're going to draw, the next animal, is a sea turtle. Sea turtles are the only water-living reptile that I know of. And I'm pretty sure they are the only water-living reptile. Except for alligators, but they don't really live in the water. Dolphins are related, are in the family of whales, dolphins, of uh, whales and dolphins, and they're in the family Delphinidae, which which is the scientific name for dolphins, and, and then all of the Delphinidae and Zilphinidae stuff is added into a group of called cetaceans. A cetacean would be a whale, dolphin, or a porpoise. Males, dolphins, and porpoises have inspired me since I watched the movie Dolphin Tale. And then Dolphin Tale 2. Didn't come out too long ago, September 20th, something like that, 2014, but it's 2015. Right now, it's May um, 18th. And I just came home from school, so. Now, we're going to draw the sea turtle. This is the dolphin, how it looks, and how it will look. If you want to make any changes, you can. Just have to add the gray on it. So you don't have to add the gray on this dolphin. I just think it's probably a good idea. So it looks more realistic. I decided enough to draw the whole dolphin gray, then it would look like a bottlenose. That's the species that winter is. But <laughs> I figured I should stop talking about winter. So now we're gonna draw the sea turtle anyway. So my head's bugging me. Um, 
So, sea turtles, we're gonna draw it up here. You're gonna see the shells. So, the shells right here. I think I need to do a better shell. One thing when you erase, make sure to wipe the little flickery things that come off of your eraser off of the paper because then that can get in the way and then it can ruin the picture so that's one tip we're gonna draw the little tail they have just a little stubby thing this is their back flipper now sea turtles pretty cool that they can survive underwater like the reptiles. I have kind of like a parrot looking thing right there. You know what? I think I need to erase the head. The neck's got a little too long and everything. And I am not positive that sea turtles breathe air, but I'm almost positive they do. I have no idea what that timer was for. It's not for my video. And again. Here's the official head, I think, of the turtle. Get that. I think that's as good as it'll get. Turtle heads aren't my expertise. I don't think that's a word. Expert. They're not my, they're not the easiest for drawing for me. So this is the sea turtle right here. The head might look a little wonky and if you can draw a better sea turtle, that's fine. But anyway, now we're gonna do the coloring for the sea turtle. You might think that one faster than the dolphin. Well, yes, because dolphins don't take as long, take a longer time to, to draw usually. That more visible. Thanks. Fine. Now we're gonna draw the um, head. It's coming toward the surface. This is a light green, really bright, that I'm using. And we're going to draw that. Sea turtles have many different species. There are even some that live in fresh water, such as the alligator snapping turtle. The first time I heard, I found out that that actually existed was in a um, animal reference book at my school, since Don Montessori. Anyway, drawing cetaceans has been a favorite of mine for years and years and years. Well, not for years and years and years, but a couple of years, probably since I was since I was seven. They've been my favorite to draw. Eight now, but they've always been kind of my specialty for drawing since I stopped. Loving Frozen, the movie that's gotten so popular since it came out 2014 on Thanksgiving. Wait, 2013, yeah, that was 2013 on Thanksgiving. I was six years old when that movie came out, and ever since I saw it in the movie theater on the day it came out, Thanksgiving, I loved it.
But now, now I like marine life. So, that's the turtle for you. There's one more thing I want to add. Turtles usually have this type of thing on their back. So, when you see a turtle, you might like see kind of like large scale type things almost. That's the turtle. Now, because this is a picture that takes place in the tropics, hang on. Before I do that, we're going to draw the water surface. Now, water surface aren't just drawing this. No, I'm not just drawing a line and then drawing the sky. They have kind of like a layer, almost. I don't really know the layer, but... Sorry. But, yeah. So, picture is dolphin and sea turtle have been done. Now we're going to draw a fish. Fit, most people draw a fish like, this is a mess up, like this. But I'm going to show you the more advanced step, more like this. More like that. That's the more advanced step. Hold back here. That's our main page. Now we're going to draw the fishies. I'm going to be using some various colors for that. Some of them will be longer than others. But no matter what, it should be good. Now the fin of fish usually have bending down lines like this. And their fins. It's almost like blood veins, but it's probably this tiny, tiny bone structure. That's what I'm assuming it is. So. This is the basics. I'm going to take this and draw a line going through the fish. It's got some colorful details. It's, it's called tigerfish. I don't know if this is how a wild tigerfish would look, but I just do. Suggestion that I'm making. And another thing is, I've drawn so many animal pictures before. So many. Well, more like a dolphin pictures, I should say. Sometimes people tease me and say that I love dolphins too much. But I believe they're cute. I have um, swam with dolphins in the wild. 
and in captivity. The um, wild is where I saw my first manta ray and my first eagle ray that I've ever seen. The mantas get huge. Big, bigger than the coffee table I'm drawing on. They can get about as big as a couch, for instance. They can get that big. But one, one place to see rays, not mantas, but just plain rays, is the um, Portland Aquarium. It's a pretty good place to see the mantas. And in fact, I just, that just gave me an idea of adding a, an, eagle, I mean, an eagle ray to the picture. So I will draw an eagle ray somewhere down here. Manta would be a little big. Something on my shirt that's bugging me. <laughs> because this takes place in Hawaii, where these are tropical waters, there are coral reefs. So this is a coral reef. Now, I'm not very good at drawing coral reefs, but I can do my best, but I think I'll be good at shading the coral reef. Now I'm going to draw another fish down here. I, w I did mention earlier in the video a river dolphin one. That's probably going to come up in a few weeks, maybe. It might come up within the next few days. But I doubt it. One moment. I need to go sharpen the pencil. This shouldn't take long, so please don't leave. And I'm back. I apologize for having to leave the video, but this color right here is a really super bright yellow that I'm going to be using on one of my fishies. And now with this particular pencil I'm using, you might see like little shavings because this particular pencil, when it's sharpened for the first time, gets shaved up all. This color is going to be used for the fin on the fish. I think I might have chosen more of a skin color <laughs> than what I thought this would be, but It'll be okay. Anyway, now we're going to add this, which is kind of an orangey yellow. It's supposed to be. Then we're going to coat that with another more golden yellow.
So that's the fish, the base, the basics of the coloring. This right here, I'm gonna do a quick overcoat with gold and yellow. This will kind of darken things up a little bit. Just the titch. But, yeah. Now I'm going to draw a dolphin in the background. So this dolphin is obviously going to be smaller. Now we already know the basics. So I'm just going to draw how I would normally draw, no lines or anything. And when you draw animals in the background there, you shouldn't make them look as detailed. Because if you do, Sorry about that noise, that was probably my sister banging on something, she can be really crazy. But anyway, I'm going to draw this dolphin, just plain blue, because it's too far away to really add too much detail, but you still should color it in. Hawaii is probably the best place to watch spinner dolphins as they dance, swim, and play. In fact, spinner dolphins do pretty acrobatic spins in the water. In fact, I've seen a live one do it in person. So, we're almost done with the animals, I have to report. That's <laughs> the good news. So your drawing is almost over. Almost done. Well, you're almost done drawing the animals. But this is the tip of the coral reef. I apologize if you can't see it very well because the bottom of the paper isn't really shown that much. Anyway, this is where the sunlight's reflecting. Now, one tip. When you're drawing sunlight, on really anything at all, make sure that it's a lighter shade of color of whatever you want to use, whatever co basic color you're using. So the golden yellow is the closest I have to light brown, but I thought it would be a good choice. And Molly calls the video of how to draw marine life. Now, when you draw coral reefs, remember this. They can get huge. I've swam through coral reefs, through huge coral reefs before. It was so incredible. And 
That's one thing you might want to do, too, if your parents allow you. But I did it, and it was pretty fun. Okay. So we've got two dolphins, one close, one far away, a sea turtle, a coral reef, the state fish of Hawaii, um, striped tiger fish, or the huma huma nuku nuku, um, I can't remember how to say it, but then the yellow tang, right here. Now, we're going to draw the top of the water, so we'll be able to see this part better. Okay. Where did I put that? Here. Sorry, I need to go sharpen one pencil. This one got kind of dull. And I'm back. I apologize again for having to get up for the second time to rearrange something, but oh, I forgot. We're going to take this green pencil and draw little markings on it. Now, you might think this is weird because the ocean's usually green, but the shallow waters look kind of turquoisey and greenish. You don't have to draw that if you don't want to. But now we're going to add the blue to the surface. Now, I was thinking of making this, doing this video earlier in the month of May. But my dad didn't allow when I was going to make a polar diagram of polar whales and dolphins and animals, and then I started practicing them. It didn't turn out very well. I was planning to draw like a snow leopard in the background, didn't practice drawing it. It didn't really look good. So I decided that if I want to make things look good enough that I can do a drawing video, I should what I'm skilled on. So, and that is oceanic dolphins. Now, when I do make the river dolphin video, um, it might not be as well drawn as I, as I might want it to be, but like I said, perfect bad bad to try to make things perfect. Okay, this is the top of the water. So, as you can see, I did blue and green. I was gonna draw a person, but I decided there should only be wildlife. You might think people are wildlife, they're not really wild animals. Now for the water. One moment. I just had a really good idea on drawing a manatee. Sea cow. So you're going to draw this part first. Now I am not skilled on drawing manatees. So this might look a little bulky for a manatee, but... I'll do my best. I think I need to make the flippers better. I have really tiny eyes, surrounded by these little thingies. Little 
little tiny like green hairs. Let me make those actually green. On their backs. And on their head. So, yeah. They're mostly gray. So I'll draw them gray. And if you're able to draw a manatee, that's a manatee that's better than mine. Post up a video about it because I think I might need to learn how to draw a manatee. <laughs> but I'll be okay. Now manatees are not. I don't know much about manatees, but they're not very oceanic. Now, oceanic means they, like, they're found in the ocean. Now, there's a type of dolphin called the Tukuski. It was in South America. And it, um, well, it, it goes into the river sometimes, but it's still considered an oceanic dolphin. Manatees are most common in rivers, but they can be found in shallow ocean waters. The shallow coastal waters, like in bays. But, they, but they're but they uncommon in the deep blue sea where you find all the whale species and stuff. Speaking of whales, I will be posting up a video on how to draw humpback whales soon. Now... Humpback whales are the easiest to identify of all baleen whales. Baleen whales have kind of like a comb-like hair hanging from their mouth that they use to filter, you know, fish. Shrimp, really, more of, but... So this is the manatee. Now, all we need to do is write draw rather water. Now, I've seen drawing videos that where they like they do special work on it to speed it up and all and then it takes really hard to draw. Which I don't really like. Because you're, you can't, let's scratch stuff on my paper. Anyway, you can't, um, follow it very easily. However, this video is not sped up at all. Now, you might think I'm just going to draw the rest of the water blue. Well, no. I'm not. There's going to be, like, a little light shining down here. So, I'll show you how to kind of shade that. Just follow me. Colored in everything. I'll try to do as fast as I can so I can show you how to do the shading. Now, one tip when you draw the corners of the water, I mean, on your paper, it can kind of like fold up like this, and then it looks all wrinkly and weird. So I like to draw very little color on my paper on the edges. I just kind of do a quick coat and then I'm done with that area. See, 
it'll still lift up a bit, but it doesn't like lift up a huge amount like it like it used to when I grew. Now when you're drawing the edges, try not to wrinkle them up a whole lot. Because then they're gonna look like a wrinkly like that, and then they come up, like kind of like that, and then they come up, and that doesn't look good. So, Now, here's for the light. So it's you want it to be white at the very top. I'm gonna draw kind of like a light blue coating here. That's not in all areas. Now I have an opportunity to tell you what's threatening the sea life. One thing is ships. The um, ship collision collisions that happen when animals can't get out of the way of the speeding ships in time. It's horrible. I mean, thousands of whales die from this type of thing every year and it's horrible 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 which is why i made a blog about saving that so the blog is whales dolphins porpoises dot wordpress dot com so go to that, and then you'll find information about how how you can help dolphins and um, what you can do to save them. So that blog will explain all about how we help the animals. The cetaceans, the everything. Once again, cetaceans is a way cetaceans would be a whale, a dolphin, or a porpoise. When I am working at school um, on my cetaceans research, my friend Ava, she always says her sentence research because the word cetaceans look like it says sentence kind of. So she calls it sentence research. That's my sister. Okay. Sorry, this is taking so long. But we're almost done with the picture. And the video will be over very soon. But everyone's gonna love that baby. <laughs> Raining Penny. That's my sister. Her name's Penny. No. And she acts like a baby a lot. Baby. She says Gugu Baga. That's it's actually pretty cute.
and her name is Evie. Just Penny. And she doesn't like me talking. Penny. Evie, stop. Sorry about that. My sister just gets a little crazy sometimes. Oh, you do. Now, will you put it fighting? Penny, stop. You're the one who's fighting. Penny. I know where I fight in my home alone. Evie, really, I haven't fit fighting. Penny, would you quit it? With you. Seriously, Penny. Okay, then. You shut up. Really, Dad got tiki torches. Seriously? Yeah. Cool. Okay, let's stop talking about it, though. <laughs> yeah. In the again, room. on the corners. I'm sorry about that little chat. But again, on the corners, um, be careful about tipping them up. So. Like this. Is that blue or gray you're using? It's blue. My blue? No. She thinks she owns her own content. No, the blue that I bought. Is it the blue that I bought? No. It is not. Now go away. Yes, it is. That's the type of blue I bought. And you did not buy this. Now stop. Okay. Okay, who bought that? Penny. 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 Let me see that. This is your picture. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, right, I didn't buy that. I bought something similar to that. Sorry for that. Penny, I really wish you weren't interrupting this. This is the, your picture. I hope you enjoyed this video. And so, thank you for watching once again. <laughs> That's my busy sister. <laughs> The blog is <laughs> whalesdolphinsporpoises.wordpress.com so <laughs> there you can find all about saving cetaceans. <laughs> hey! Have you done them? Yep. Yeah.